guys and welcome into the ESL live stream. We are live on Facebook and on YouTube. And if you are watching the replay, thank you so much for being here. Uh, today it's a Q&A. So whatever the question you want to ask me, you are very welcome. And at any time you, you, you see that into the description down below, you have uh, a link where you can click on the link and you will be able to be with me on the live. Just if you want to say a little hello or if you get some tips to share as well. Uh, so feel free to click on the link and come. I've seen that we have already someone waiting. has been waiting for a very long time. We're going to check out uh, very soon. It is uh, live right now. Q&A. So just feel free to ask your question right now. Michael Nielsen, live now on YouTube. Sunday night and another ESL live stream for you to help you with the class. So whatever the question you have, just feel free to uh, send your question into the chat. Don't forget to write question and then your question. I will try to help you with your class. Hope you guys are uh, doing good Sunday night. Feels good, huh? Uh, let me check out a little bit. She's been here in the group uh, in Facebook since a long time. I guess she might see me getting ready for the live. Uh, we've been a little bit late, but it's okay. Uh, I was feeling a little bit shy when you get someone already in the, in the chat. Thank you for uh, how for being in the live. I'm not sure with your name, uh, but I guess it's how. Yeah, uh, she's going to be talking with me. We're going to try and you'll be able to do the same. If you want to uh, say something as well, you are very welcome. Who's in the chat as well? We have uh, Jyoti Aurora. Hello, everyone. This is Jyoti. <laughs> uh, I'm not good. Uh, I, I, I get no idea what language is it, but it's... Thank you. Let me know where you're from. Uh, really appreciate you. Thank you for being in a live. Very nice thumbnail. Very lovely. Sarah brother here, always here pretty much every time. Yeah, ESL power. <laughs> cool. Thank you, brother. Much love to you and your students. Thank you so much for all the video you've been sending with your students. Really awesome. I uh, really appreciate you. Uh, Hannah. Hi, my friend. I'm Hannah from Morocco. Welcome. Bienvenue. Gros bisous au Maroc. Lovely people over there. Awesome. And at work, dear, lovely down Janice. How's it, how's it going over there in America, New York? Uh, everything's all right? Hope you're doing good. The family too. Uh, it's cool to see you here. Really appreciate you. Thank you so much. Uh, how to teach ruler, pencil, crayon? <laughs> That's a good question. Uh, Teacher Lee Teaching Tips channel. Nice. Uh, I'll be checking your channel. Let me know where you're from. That would be cool. How to teach ruler, pencil, crayon. Well, you got many, many ways to teach this, uh, of course. But, you know, in a class, it's, mm, it's always fun. Like, you just, for, the, for your presentation, how you're going to bring this uh, into your classroom, would be cool that you bring a bag and then you just be like them a student you, even if you have a table and then you can sit on the table and start to open your bag and say oh wow you know you gotta play this like try to be funny you know you open the bag oh wow do you want to see what's in my bag and then you know, um, whatever you uh, you can go, especially in China, is very convenient for that. But I guess uh, 
all around the world is the same until you get Amazon, but in China we get Taobao. And you can buy not only some very simple pens or ruler or but like bigger ones, you know, that can be made of uh, kind of tissue or not tissue, what kind of paper or carton or but a little bit bigger, especially when you have a class of uh, a great number of kids. Believe me, if you get 55 kids in your class, the ones in the back, they won't see if you get a little pen like that. They will be like, oh, what is that? Is it a pen? A pencil? I can't see that. So it's always good to have materials like are a little bit bigger. You can even, if you don't want to buy those kind of material, it's okay. You can just bring some flashcards, uh, a4 format would be cool because it's big enough for kids in the back to see. And you can choose one of the kid to come in front and try, try to see without looking inside. You can bend his eyes and let him try to find what's in it. Then when he take it out, well, everybody's going to be, it's a battle just for them to be attracted to make a little bit of mystery so they will be all listening to you uh, presentation can be very important you can start like this or you can start with a song uh, and then you can go on and go on well <laughs> that's great thank you very much for being in the chat hi said good vibes yeah Thank you so much, Ziad uh, Shabani. Welcome back. Uh, I, I remember your uh, name. You came before. Thank you so much, uh, MKs. What would you do if you have a mixed ability class? I mean, three different levels, and you are obliged to do the session. Well, um, if you get that much uh differences in levels i guess you won't have a lot of kids but um it all depends uh what do you say on oh, different levels yeah so you got to make them work in group uh sorry i got to care <laughs> there's a something flying around here okay got it <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, no. I don't like when you get some UFOs around here. You know, it happens, you know, summertime. So, yeah, thanks uh, for being in here. Yeah, session, three different levels. Uh, yeah, I, like I said, put them in different groups. Then you give them, uh, you give them some, uh, some work, of course, some stuff that to practice, but it's, uh, really something difficult. I would I would work in group. I would probably try to teach a, a content for everybody. There are different levels, so they're not going to learn the same thing. And depends on the number of students you have So and the time that you have. If you have uh, a lot of time, it's going to be boring for some students. So having students from different levels... It's not really something to do. Uh, not really professional from a training school, if it is like that. I guess it's a training school. So really, it's important to uh, make one classroom with one level because you're going to waste some time and it's going to be difficult to control some of your students, some of the students that do not understand a word what you're saying and the others will be listening, of course. But yeah. Uh, it's always good to divide into levels. I've never seen uh, in primary school, you're not going to teach grade one, grade two, grade three at the same time. Thank you so much for being in alive. And here, teacher Michel, thank you very much, online teacher. Uh, really awesome from America. Welcome into the chat. Really appreciate you. 
uh, on Facebook over there. Thank you. Yeah, I, I forgot that we get our lady lemon. Oh, that's the same. Sorry. <laughs> Welcome uh, in the chat. Thank you so much on Facebook over there. Uh, thanks a lot. And here we go. Hello and warm greeting from Russia. Thank you for your ideas. I often use them in the class. Very welcome, Svetlana. Welcome. I'm not good at Russian. I'd love to say some word. People have been asking me, Mike, can you say some word in Russian? I gotta, uh, I gotta check this out. Uh, I'll try. I'd love to. And we got another brother here from Chandu. He's not far from me. ND, the ESL guy. Good evening from Chandu. Mike, love the Sunday shows. Uh, thank you for being in the show. You can come with me if you got, you can come and try to answer, uh, I don't know, the, the question that we can have on the, on the live. You have a link down below and we have already someone, uh, she is on Facebook, I guess, and she clicked on the link. Her name is Ho uh, from Vietnam. She's from Vietnam. So uh, why don't we try? I'm going to put my, I don't know. I, I can see her already. I can see her, but I'm not sure if she's, oh yeah, all right. She's in front. She's, she's ready. So Ho, we're going to try to, if, um, if you have, a headset that would be great so there's no because you your microphone's gonna be open and you might you might hear uh, the people might hear the sound of the live so it's good if you want to be in the live uh, with me that you have headset. so that will be cool all right we try I live it a bit of time because there's a, a little time display. But yeah, okay. Gonna see if it works. Uh, Andy, you can come, of course. You're welcome. Uh, who's in the private chat? And Ho is in the live. Hi. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, how are you doing? Great. Thank Great. you for allowing me to join in this. This is my first time. Hello from Vietnam. Hello, everyone. And meet a Mike. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much, Ho, for uh, being very active. You sent me some video of your class. Uh, I guess you were having a training with your students, right? With your teachers. You were training them how to do the warm-up. Hello, hello, how are you, right? Yes, uh, actually, uh, they are not teachers. Uh, you know, I'm living in a remote area uh, on the central highlands of Vietnam. So uh, the people here, they, they don't have opportunity to uh, practice English. So I had an idea to uh, make an English speaking club and uh, many adults, they come to practice English. And yes. that's cool. Um, a lot of people ask me, Mike, uh, you know, sometimes they say uh, you can't really use those warm ups with adults. And, I, and I, at the end of the day, it's not right because even when you start to, to learn English, you can, uh, adults can have fun doing it also. Uh, and it's good. It's a kind of icebreaker as well. Yes, they, they really like it because at first I, I didn't know how to make the English club. And I think that uh, if I just give them a topic paper, it will be very boring. But uh, when I came across your YouTube channel, I, I was really excited. And your warm up activities uh, really helped me with my English club. They really like it. That's great. Glad. Thank you so much. I'm happy that all those tips can help your uh, your students or whatever the age they have. It's all always good. You like my T-shirt set. You know what you learn with pleasure. 
you never forget, right? So thank you so much for yes. yeah, even trying and creating this club is really great. Uh, very important to teach whatever if uh, there are students, uh, there are adults or young kids, and it's it's great to create those uh, those English clubs because learning English can help uh, people to make themselves understood and help them in their work, of course, and having a better a better position in in their work. Of course. Yeah, I think so, you, you make a great talk because, you know, uh, before people here, they always think that English is just about uh, grammar, writing, and a lot of uh, <laughs> difficult vocabulary and structure. But you, you turn everything into the songs, the lyrics, and it go into the people's soul. They become more, uh, you know, <laughs> open. We have become uh, friends, friends, because we uh, make a lot of gestures and become friends. Because of you. <laughs> it's not only uh, because of me. It's just um, a kind of uh, method that we use, of course. When you teach yeah. a language, you can be, yeah, you can be standing. Of course, it, 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 it's not always easy for everybody to know about those uh, methods, um, especially when you don't really... You know, when I started, people just throw me in the classroom and just say, go, teach. And I had no idea what to do, you know. So uh, you get that TPR, you, the, the T, uh, those body language actions that I do in class so that I can help. But everything I've been learning, I also have learned from uh, other teachers. And after, when you get the point, when you understand how students work, when you understand your students, and pay a great attention. Students have different characters, different temper. So you have to act according to that. But when they are very young, you know that doing actions, being funny, is going to help them remember for sure. And yeah, if you don't mind, uh, I'd like to show the video you sent. Uh, uh, that was very nice. You made my day sending this. Yeah, uh, seeing really adults. <laughs> <laughs> because it's my pleasure to appear on YouTube, <laughs> your YouTube. Uh, yes. <laughs> so yeah, if you have, uh, yeah, you you do have. A, I, I haven't been checking your you. Uh, you get. I guess you have a YouTube channel, right? Yes, but I. Uh, it's just some videos I made recently. <laughs> yes. Okay, uh, it's all good. It's all good. I can help you out. You you've been very nice reaching me out. Uh, we are not very far from from each other, right? I mean, China, yeah. you are in Vietnam. Uh, mm. That's really cool. Thank you so much for uh, <laughs> being part of that uh, ESL family. Uh, and let's check out your video. I'll get back to you. Yeah. Thank you very much, Ho, for uh, being in the live with me. That was uh, awesome. And thank you for sharing with your adults, the, with your students. They, they have different ages, so I guess it's not easy, right? Yes. Uh, even my baby, who was uh, who is under three years old, she loves your pure banana song. And follow, follow me, follow, follow me. This yeah, is yeah. every day. Yeah, that, that's a kind of song that it sticks in, for kids. It sticks in yeah. their <laughs> sticks in their in their brain, and yeah, well, yeah. they're they're happy with this. They remember it because they love it, and they are willing to. Yeah, it's fun, you know. Kids have to have fun. 
And yeah. uh, when you have fun with pleasure with by uh, and learning at the same time is great. You cannot have only fun and do not learn, right? There are many games that we can play, but you uh, you have to practice before you play or during. There must be a game where you can practice. Thank you so much, all. Uh, I hope to see your video soon. And yeah, uh, have a good time in Vietnam. Uh, stay safe. Thank you so much. And mm -hmm. peace and love to you. Uh, a big hello to your to your club. And I hope it's going to get better and better. Yes, thanks so much. <laughs> You're very welcome. Singing I'll see you. Song every day. Yes. Bye bye. Awesome. That was great. Uh, thank you for Ho uh, and sharing uh, her English club back in, uh, in Vietnam. That's awesome. Oh, that big uh, family is here in the house. So, yeah, if you want to be in the live as well, if you want to say something, uh, no, I'm not going to share. Sorry, I'm going to share you the link that uh, she's been using. It's very, very easy. You can uh, use it. Uh, you can click on the link and you don't need to download any apps. It's really, really convenient. Uh, as you can see, uh, uh, Ho didn't have that much problem. I guess she's been, uh, it was very easy for her. Uh, so yeah, if you want to join in the live and share your tips with me, you are very welcome. I'm going to take off my, yeah, all right. I'm going to keep them here like that. And yeah. So let me check out a little bit into the live. You can just click on the link and you'll be right here with me. Uh, let me see. Okay. Thank you. Oh, look, view for being in a live. Uh, here we got young and alive. Thank you so much, brother, for being in here. What kind of games would you recommend for a class of 35 kids? I will be so glad to get some tips from you. Um, what you can use in your uh, in your class when you get 35 uh, kids in your class, you can use games. Uh, I, I remember I used to use um, I use a flashcard game. Ah, uh, wait, we can watch that video. You're gonna see that flashcard game. It's uh, let me see a flash card game for a great number. Up, 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 up. Let me see if I can get that one. <laughs> Mike, uh, Mike Lasher, can't find it. <laughs> yeah, a flashcard game I use when you have a, a class uh, with a lot of students, it's good for you to uh, use those flashcards because the key, the kids who are, uh, for example, you have different vocabulary when they have, pre, when they have, uh, when they, uh, sorry, I'm doing 300 thing at the same time uh, when you are uh, oh yes here it is yeah, I guess that's the one now I'm gonna show you right away the game would be better a flashcard game so I'm gonna share my screen so I'll be, I forgot to bring some water today. <laughs> I'm going to get some water. And please, if you want to be with me in the live, you can see this link. Uh, so you can come, uh, you can come and talk to me and talk to the audience. Uh, whatever you want to say, very welcome. For example, I know we get uh, Michelle who'd love to come, but I know that those ladies always want to be like, oh yeah, I, I need to, 
I need to make up a little. But I, I understand. But if you want to come, yeah, you are very welcome. Uh, let's share my screen and we're going to see that game for a great number of students. Uh, let me check it out. Here we go. We're going to share the screen. And here we go. A great number of kids, 55 kids. Here we go. Team 2 has 15 as well, right? 
Team three has got eight. Team four, ten. Team five, twenty. Team four, six, five. Team seven has got fifteen. And team eight, five. So this morning, team winner is team five, winner. I hope you like this game. All right. I hope that can be help you. Hope that can be helpful. Let me turn it off and not share my screen here. Back. Thank you guys for being in the live. Um, we're going to be waiting for, I don't know if he's going to come, but we're going to probably have nd the esl guy uh, i've been texting him <laughs> during the live trying to see if he wants to come uh trying his uh yes but uh nd the esl guy is really awesome even teacher michelle you are welcome too who wants to come is welcome i'm gonna check out all uh so i hope that was useful for you um mr young and Ola, thanks for being in the live. Appreciate you. Uh, let's say a little hello to Miss Abuela. Welcome into the live. Bienvenue à toi, mademoiselle. And uh, question. Okay, okay. Let me check it out a little bit. Uh, going down into. Uh, okay. Would be cool if you write question. I will go right. I will see right away if you are uh, if you want if you need my help. Write question. Then your question. Interesting question from uh, Lydia Dalioko. Thank you for being in the live, uh, Lydia. What activity would you recommend in the pro? production stage for a small class of young learners and beginners well as you are teaching oral english uh, i really think it's very important for young kids even if they're young it's all good you uh, during the production stage which means that they already know the content of your class uh, for example i don't know if they're um, what are they learning? For example, they're, they try to meet for the first time. I uh, say, hello, I'm Mike. What's your name? Uh, my name is Lily. My name is Lydia. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. And then they shake hands, of course. So you can let them come in front and perform in front of everybody. Uh, they've learned all these things, so now it's time for them to produce, they practice, whatever they want to say is not only according to what they've been learning. For example, nice to meet you, nice to meet you too, or glad to meet you. You can tell them that they have different variations. For example, you can say glad to meet you, nice to meet you, happy to meet you. So you can let them come in front and just being like, just like a real situation so that they shake hands, uh, say, hi, my name is Mike, nice to meet you. Or you can go slowly, well, whatever. Let them come in front. And after they are in front, if you have a big number, a great number of students, you can have a PPT game ready after they practice. So that would be... For the shy student, they will be like, uh, I don't want to practice the dialogue, but I sure want to play that game. So they will be all willing to raise their hand. So let them uh, come in front, and after they finish to perform, you can give them points if you don't want to, if you don't have, if you can't play a PPT game. And there are many PPT games that you can use, like uh, a wheel, that there's a big wheel, will spin 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 the wheel and then they get points according to where the wheel stops so it creates lots of fun kids are really 
they, re they really want to come in front because of this wheel. So in your production part, you can also add the game behind. So they come, they practice their dialogue. Of course, you're learning oral English, so they have to make a dialogue each other. <clears throat> and probably before you start uh, with them, you can give an example with your uh, assistant teacher if you have one. If not, you can just, you know that in your class you always have a very advanced student who already know everything and he's always the first to raise uh, his hand. So he's the one who can help you if you don't have an assistant in your class. So let him come in front, do the dialogue with you as you would like the students to do. Then other kids start, you can give them like two, three minutes the, so that they can practice to each other. And then you go and just check if there's, if everything's okay, if they need your help. So after a couple of minutes, then everybody's ready. So who wants to come in from? Oh, team one, please come in from, do the dialogue. Uh, then so they, they do the dialogue, they, they, they can add whatever they want. Tell them that they can be creative as, as well. <clears throat> so that you can give them a couple of different examples for sure, so that you uh, they can go and practice in front. And after they finish practicing, okay, just playing with the wheel and then let them uh, have fun. Yeah, I, I used to, I use this in class. Uh, it's a it's a big wheel where kids just have to uh, touch the screen, and the wheel is gonna uh, spin, and they will have points. So yeah, it makes a lot of fun because kids have. Uh, but I can uh, I, I can give you the link for sure. Not right now because I. If you want to get those kind of PPT games, you can find them on teacherspayteachers.com. That's really awesome. And it must be around one or two dollars uh, for that big wheel. So really cool. I use it in my class and they love it. And they are different other games like basketball or uh, let me think what are all the games. Yeah, their favorite is basketball, the big wheel. And yeah, pretty much. Or find the, the treasure. They have to find a treasure behind numbers so they can practice numbers. Oh, I want number two. Is there a treasure behind number two? No. So, well, uh, it's quite difficult to explain you like that, but there are great, awesome games that you can use in your class for sure. Uh, good question. Yeah, uh, some teachers always use PPT. <laughs> I guess Andy is, I guess Andy is ready. So, bro, if you, if you're ready, you can just, <laughs> you can just click on the link uh, or uh, I should send you the link again. Uh, I'm going to come back. Uh, I'm gonna send you. The, you get the link in in the description of the of the live anyway. Uh, here is the link if you want to be in the live uh, with me. If you want to say hello or whatever you want to say, you are welcome. So yeah, uh, teacher Lee teaching was saying some teachers always use PPT to teach English. Do you think it is a great way to teach? No, it isn't. <laughs> PPT can be here for you to help you in your class structure. Or this PPT can be used for presentation. You can use a PPT as a presentation in your lesson plan, of course. But you cannot use it all the time. Um, you can use it if you are reading with students, of course, and uh, you get PPTs that you use in your class to help. It's a kind of material like flashcards, you understand? 
and you you cannot use it the whole class of course you uh, it's going to get boring otherwise except if you are teaching kids reading how to read of course you really need it but using it all the time no and just oh just read and that's all no you it's a ppt is needed like i said pretty much in a presentation uh and point out the key vocabulary and key sentences of your lesson so that they have an image uh if you have a ppt it's supposed to be really colorful and interesting for the kids so that they can understand uh what is it all about and if you are teaching according to uh, especially for me i used to teach a lot they have a book where they have a lot of content in it and i'm trying to make my pbts according to the book without changing too much uh stuff in it and sometimes i even use a projector who's going to project my book because when they're going to come back home the school wants them to be able to read everything so uh it's good for kids to be uh, accommodate to their own book so they know what they've been learning during the day and how they should um if you're giving them homework it's very convenient for that to uh, give them homework using that projector which project your book uh picture on your digital board which is quite pretty awesome thank you for being in the live so let me see if our brother andy is in the house yeah not sure i guess he's ready but <laughs> And uh, not that. Another question from who's that? Uh, okay, here is a question uh, from. Oh, your name is a bit. Difficult. <laughs> I can't read. Sorry. Um, how can you teach kids reading? When you teach kids reading, you really have to start by uh, teaching them, especially first level. You got to teach them every the alphabet, of course, with each letter's sound: a, a, b, b. Then you. When you've taught them a couple of uh, le a couple of letter letters, especially if they have six years old, so you can start to uh, link some of those letters. For example, b, a, d, bad. So then step by step, you gotta teach them b. You get b and e. B says b. E says a. B, a, b, b. Then we add a D. D says D. So we say B. Uh, B. A. B. D. Bad. It's a little bit difficult to, <laughs> to teach like this when you don't have students with you. Uh, I don't have my board. I always try using my, my board. So problems of uh with the earphones mic <laughs> so yeah you what you can do it uh, doesn't matter if you can uh what you can do is just oh you won't be able to hear me yeah no, i was saying like you can just turn off the your computer sound but you won't be able to listen to me i guess you won't Hi, Mike. I thought you were on vacation last day. Kisses from France. Uh, yeah, no, I wasn't on vacation. No. Uh, what? Uh, sure. 
Fandia, euh, je suis en vacances, oui, mais euh, on n'est pas encore parti à la maison, à la campagne. Yeah, that's my mom who said, yeah, Mike, uh, I thought you were on holiday. Yeah, no, I didn't left yet. <laughs> Denny Jams, thank you for being in the live. Hi, Mike. Hi, Denny, really appreciate you. Thank you for being here. Uh, and yeah, if you are interested in phonics, like teaching kids how to read, so like I said, it's very important to start by teaching the alphabet, then you group the letters, and then you gotta teach them the consonants, consonant blend, and all stuff. So uh, you gotta know as well that uh, I have a, a, another channel I've been starting and Miss Abuela is always asking, Mike, Mike, when is your letter F uh, going to be on? And yeah, there's... Uh, so I, I have another channel where I teach, where you can use it in your class. It's a kind of story where I am a uh, prisoner of a phonics book which is called the Magic Phonics Book. And there's a, a little trailer so that you can go check it out. Uh, I'll give you the link of this uh, Magic Phonics Book right now. Just, I'll see you right now. The Magic Phonics Book, really awesome, awesome for your kids. They can have a lot of fun. What is that book? Magic Phonics book? What is it all about? Nice. What is this place? So that's the Magic Phonics book. Uh, uh, magic Phonics book so that you can use in your class. Uh, yeah, it looks like uh, uh, I've worked on, on, all, on this stuff quite uh, a lot before because uh, these days I'm busy with other stuff. But yeah, the Magic Phonics book is um really nice uh, for kids to learn uh, of course here you've seen some stuff where it's not really teaching part i can uh show you a little bit more how do i teach the process of uh of it still and i'm gonna go and share my screen so yeah, you guys are welcome to check out the the Magic Phonics book. And yeah, just feel free to... This is the Magic Phonics book channel. Uh, yeah, let's check it out. We can go uh, with the letter A. Why not starting with the letter A? Yeah, that's when I've been what is that all about? grab into the book. I'm going to go a little bit forward. Nice. 
What is this place? Someone help me! Why am I? There's, there's nobody here. It's so white everywhere. What's that? Oh, oh my! What is that? Hi, Mike. Hello, but who are you? What am I doing here? I'm the hand from the magic phonics book. We choose you to teach kids phonics? Me? But why me? Don't you like to teach kids phonics? Sure, I do, but why here? Let's teach, please, Mike. Oh, okay, all right, let's teach, let's start. So let's start with the first letter, and the first letter is A. That's a big A. We call it the capital A. And we have a small A. We call it the low case A. Both are A's. A says A. A. Follow me, say A. Open your mouth wildly. A. A. Do this action. A. A. The letter A says A. The letter A says A. Follow me. A. A. Good job, kids. So the hand, do we have a word for this? Yeah, a word. Do you have one? Uh-huh. Let me see. Oh. Apple. Yeah. Very good. Do you like apples? Great. Good. Me too. I like... Oh. Wow. That's a big apple. Wow. That's a big... Yeah, the apple. Oh, my God. All right. Uh, let's follow me, okay? So you say, A. 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 Apple. Apple. A. A. Apple. It's your turn. So that was the magic phonics book that you can go and check it out. I'm going to stop here because it's going to be a little bit boring, of course. <laughs> but yeah, for kids, they, uh, they love it. For adults, it's a little bit, yeah, not that fun. Uh, here we go, Pavel, teacher poll. Uh, I think I know my brother. Oh. Uh, yeah. Teacher Paul, he's a great teacher. I feel that uh, so devoted and inspired. Thank you so much. Yeah, sound should be low, probably. Yeah, 
Okay. Thank you so much, everybody. Uh, so, yeah, if you have any questions, guys, just feel free to ask me. You can just write questions. And, uh, yeah, uh, as well, I I'll try to answer your question. You write question and then uh, try to answer your question. That will be cool. Uh, okay. So, yeah. Um, let's see if it works. Yes, YouTube channel. That must be, yeah, the Magic Phonics book. Thank you, Down Genies. Yes, it's working. <laughs> And device not connected. I get ND. Yeah. Eh, oh, I can see ND. So many of you probably do not know ND. Yeah. But you should because he is really awesome and can help you with your class. So let's see. Uh, last time ND. Uh, I got a feeling. For what? Tonight's gonna be a good night. His name is Mike. He's got 200. 200k. Let's smash it up. I've got a feeling. Woo now, guys, it's party time. Mike, this is Andy, the ESL guy. And I want to say a massive congratulations. 200,000. I'll say that one more time. 200,000. Now, I'm so happy to have been a part of this amazing journey so far. All of us other ESL YouTubers look up to you like the godfather that you are. So once again, congratulations, Mike. An amazing achievement. Now, I have one simple tip for you guys today. Whether you're teaching kids, teenagers or adults, as long as you are well prepared for class, the key thing is just to enjoy yourself. If you enjoy your class, you have fun, your students will feed off of this energy and have a great time in your classes. So everyone, happy teaching and it's party time. I got a feeling, Ooh, his name is Mike. He's got 200, 200K. Thank you. And here it is. Hey, how you doing, Mike? Great to Good see brother. you. How are you doing? Awesome, bro. That's awesome to see you. Yeah, I can hear you without any problems. Uh, yeah, yeah, cool, awesome. cool. I, I had a few problems there with uh, uh, my wife and my two sons are all <laughs> searching the house to find earphones. So finally, <laughs> I'm okay. I'm okay. <laughs> That's cool. Thank you, Andy, for uh, for being in the live. Thank you so much. Okay. Oh yeah, I can see. Yeah, <laughs> That's cool. So yeah, Andy, yeah. can you briefly introduce yourself? Uh, how long? Yeah, have you sure, been? man. Sure. Um, <laughs> so I'm Andy, the ESL guy, as it says up on the screen there. And um, so <laughs> I came to I came to China. Uh, 10 years ago now, just over 10 years. And similar to Mike, when, when I first came here, I had no idea how to teach. Seriously, no idea. So my, my first experience was a Chinese teacher um, that showed me a, a demo class. And oh. after this, she asked me, to do my own demo class on my first day. Wow. So I told her, look, I'm only going to do what you just did, if I can remember, <laughs> you know? <laughs> so, um, where, and it didn't go well. It did not go well, I can tell you that. <laughs> so, yeah, I just want to say to everyone out there who, who's a new teacher, uh, we all have to start somewhere, you know? And experience, in my opinion, is key. Experience is key. You can study so much. But, um, as I'm sure you agree, Mike. Oh, yeah. Experience with your students is absolutely key. 
So it takes a long time. It takes years of things going good, things going wrong, and you end up, oh, this works, this works, this doesn't work. This works, this works, this works, this doesn't work, you know? <laughs> that's so, true. Gradually, you're like, okay, I know what works. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, experience is very, very important because you, you know right away who's the student who's going to make a mess of your class if you don't act right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, or the one who, or you can know the one who can be a, a great help. Yeah, exactly. Like <laughs> as soon as soon as you go into a new class, you should be able to tell, okay, this kid can help me. Yeah. You know, this kid will oh they, I might have some issues here. Um, yeah. Yeah, man. So my my whole teaching style um, is to be very creative, Mike. That's my thing. Have fun, be creative, um, use a lot of TPR. And for example, uh, Mike, Mike, what I'd like to do actually uh, in the comments, if if anyone has some questions for teaching kids. So, for example, how do you teach uh, drink water? Something basic. How do you teach go to bed? How do you teach blah blah blah? And <laughs> um, I'd be happy to to answer, you know. Yeah, sure. Uh, if you got questions, guys, uh, like Andy said, you can just leave a link. Uh, you can just leave question. Uh, I can see there's already a question from Dal Janiz. She's, <laughs> she's oh, I just kidding. opened the comment. Question: uh, Where is Andy oh, from? Hello, he sounds <laughs> <laughs> sound right, like... like the outback. Oh, God, <laughs> I am from. I am from Edinburgh in Scotland, and my my I've been in China for ten years, as I said. So my accent is um, not as strong as it used to be. <laughs> I'll tell you that. Yeah, but yeah, I'm from I'm from Scotland. Man, the beer is good over there. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. You, you, you guys. Well, that, that's great. You've been here like ten years, and I guess yeah, you miss home. Uh, ten years, man. Yeah. And um, well, that's the thing. I I actually came to China for for one year was my plan. Come for one year, <laughs> and I ended up meeting a girl after two weeks, and I got married nine months later. <laughs> and well, yeah. Now I live here with my wife and two kids. So, yeah, crazy. Yeah, that, was, crazy. That, that, that was pretty much the same for me. Uh, I was supposed to stay three months and I stayed like a year and eight months. And I got married like a year after, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah. Because I, 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 I was a tour guide in France and I was a tour guide of the, the during two months for the Chinese folk dance, and I say, yeah, okay. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go there and see how's how's China, because I had no idea, you know. And what's on yeah, TV? Yeah, yeah. What's on TV never really represent what the country is really, and yeah, people are really nice over here. Really, and Chengdu. Yeah, is me too. Me too. Lovely. Mike, I, awesome. I thought the whole of China would be the the old style chinese architecture everywhere. oh man yeah that would be <laughs> that would be oh yeah okay yeah in, in xian now because it's the historical capital of china yeah i love xian, they, I love xian. they rebuilt everything when i arrived 20 years ago it wasn't like that believe me but now yeah, yeah it, it's looking good so yeah uh let me see yeah not much yeah, questions sure. yeah uh that's cool how bear uh, how bear how bear uh, how bear can i just say um very well done honestly i loved your your live uh your live video and what you're doing over there in vietnam is amazing so how bear 
keep it up. Honestly, yeah. very, very good. Very good. She, she was very nice to come in the live. She sent me uh, like two videos the other day. And ah, said, okay, yeah, okay, like, okay. I said, yeah, why don't I can show it everybody? You know, I like sharing and I like everybody, you know. Um, yeah, yeah. My so me itself is mostly a, a stage. Uh, try to make it as much as a stage for everybody to share tips and uh, the ESL live stream is pretty much for everybody. And I hope yeah. we could have a, a live on ND's channel would be cool. <laughs> yeah, that would be cool, mate. Um, I'll need to figure out how to do that. Possibly use the uh, StreamYard. Yeah. Is it called StreamYard, StreamYard is, is, is the simplest. I've been tra trying StreamYard, uh, StreamLab. Uh, it doesn't work as good as this one because here you don't need uh, you don't need to download uh, some stuff and people can really yeah. from the group chat can really come up and say hi hey guys what's up yeah so yeah yeah. yeah all good all good so here yeah. Alaska Alexa yes and uh, what yeah. games and tips do you have for one kid demo um if I <laughs> yeah if I go first Mike really depends oh, yeah. on the, the age of the kid I would say um and not only the age of the kid, the actual situation that you're in. So in the past, um, I've been waiting to do a demo class with 10 students and one student has come. So it's obviously very different. So what I, from experience, um, Aleska, the main thing is to make the student like you. So if this is a demo class with parents, with a young kid, the main thing is, does the kid like you? Do they respond well to you? Um, by, by doing this, just have fun. Just have what, fun with the kid. And the main thing is students learn by playing. So if you play with the student and they, they happen to say some English as you're playing, all good. The parents will appreciate this. Oh, they like the teacher. All good. Um, one on one with a, an older student is completely different. So, yeah, man, I'm not too sure age level. Yeah, it, it, what you said is really true. It's one on one, a demo class for only one kid is pretty much a big pain. Uh, yeah, it yeah, yeah. It all depends how old is the kid. And it, saying a demo class for one kid is quite very, is not really common. Not and yeah, it's not good. It's not good. It's not good for sure, especially <laughs> if, he's, if he's very young. And yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, it would be better to check out the kids, not bring it up as uh, saying it's a demo class, but uh checking the kids level and then yeah, after, that's a good point. then after that you can if the parents really want to see because i, I guess it's because of the parents and the parents wants to see how the teacher teach uh, his kid on one-on-one so yeah uh just you if he, if he's really young you really have to do even if it's one on one, you can do some funny stuff like even that peel banana, even one on one. Why not? Especially if he's really young, you know, he's not gonna sit on the chair during two, one hour or two hours. Like, so uh, you have to exactly. play, you have, yeah. you have to be really active, and even TPR still need to, to be used because he has to guess what is going on, but it's uh, yeah. Uh, try to avoid speaking because like you and me we can speak Chinese it's easy sometimes uh, but uh, no we get a try to avoid it and using TPR for them would be uh, yeah. uh, making great a force right away thank you very much uh, Alexa for being in a live and asking that question out. yeah Alex uh, Alex uh, Alexa yeah you you were you you had it right <laughs> I get the <laughs> I get the pronunciation wrong. 
<laughs> Alexa, yeah. Alexa had had the cheers, man. Yeah. Good question. Good question. And Thank um, you. Alexa, yeah. once again, yeah. If if you have that again, it's yeah, it's not easy, you know. And oh, as yeah. Mike and I said, it depends on the age. So and the kids love all and so many what they want the kid to be to make improvement in if he's been already learning English because kids who wants to be on one-on-one -on -one with a teacher is probably because they're gonna leave China. I had some kids where I had to teach one-on-one -on -one like that. Uh, yeah, they were like, like a VIP style class. Yeah, six years old and because the parents mm -hmm. were ready to go to America. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. yeah. We, here you gotta teach not only English but also the culture and let them yeah. know what how they have to uh what they when you it's very important when you're a teacher especially in china that you know chinese culture <laughs> and the foreign culture you know to avoid that sometimes they're misunderstanding over there when they go to china you know yeah definitely man definitely <laughs> sorry i'm just reading one of the comments um Andy, I want to use bubblegum, bubblegum, stick, stick, stick. So this is one of my, my warm-up games. Oh, okay. um, but I also have little hair like you and Mike, I think is what they mean. Cheers. <laughs> That's okay. Mike has more hair than me, so it's all good. Yeah, but you know, uh, it's going backward too, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mike, I, I shave mine. I shave mine. Um, <laughs> Maybe maybe I should explain this this game this warm up. Um, yeah, sure. It's uh, I love this warm up. It's great for uh, for demo classes or if you are teaching body parts or something. Um, very active, very active class. So what you do? Uh, so clap your hands. So bubble gun, bubble gun, stick, stick, stick. Stick to where? Stick to where? Stick <laughs> to your nose. So two students together touch noses. <laughs> so try again. Bubble gum, bubble gum. Stick, stay, stick. Stick to where? Stick to where? Stick to your hands. So you yeah. can repeat the game with different body parts, your ear, your head, your tummy. Your bum bum, make it funny. Um, <laughs> Stick to your ass. Sorry. <clears throat> <laughs> no worries. Uh, you, you can also have the, uh, the students choose the different body parts. So stick to oh. your blah, 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 you know? So. Right. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's it's a, a good one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, avoid it in, 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 a, in a demo class because kids, you know, the parents could be like, what the hell is that teacher? What do you want my kids to yeah, do? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Maybe not for a demo class, but yeah, yeah. in real classes, quite good fun. <laughs> uh, that's cool. Anyway, thanks. Yeah, I just wanted to say a little shout out to Pavel Teacher Paul. He just arrived in the in the chat and just subscribed. Thank you so much, bro. Oh, cool. Hello, Paul. And, How you doing, uh, so he's been, don't forget to to subscribe to Andy, the ESL guy as well. I just sent the link uh, a little bit oh, earlier. Thank you, mate. Yeah. Cheers, nice. Uh, so you can go and check out. You, know, you see, uh, uh, we've been working a lot as partner with Eddie with Andy, but we were, okay. you know, it's always through WeChat and it's, uh, yeah, we yeah. always send little messages like that, but it's never like, uh, it's, uh, we've never met before. And yeah, it's yeah. crazy, man. Crazy. It, it, first it, time, first time. Man. It, it's like an old brother. <laughs> yeah, it's like, I feel like I know you very well. That's the weird yeah. thing, man. Exactly. It's really weird, yeah. That's really cool, uh, and I hope, and I hope we'll be able to do more lives uh, like that. That will be really awesome. Uh, so it's going to be time for me. And because, uh, yeah, kids are calling, Dad, I get all the family in yeah. the house. Me Four too. Kids, me too. Uh, and you too. Yeah, I get Yeah. Me you know. too. 
My, uh, my wife and kids have been told to stay away. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's, it's never it's never easy and they're lovely you know sometime when i saw her coming and she's like dad what are you doing yeah, yeah. I'm over here. actually hun, can you tell jack to come here jack no. <laughs> jack we're no, gonna see here. jack <laughs> uh jack mike jack actually loves you so he, he was so happy remember uh, last okay. time I, I tried to come on and there was Something wrong with the, the connection. Yeah, the, the, oh, the, here he is. Here he is. The audio. Uh, my yeah, youngest Jack. son, Jack. Jack, hello, hello Jack. Mike. Hello. Hello, yeah. boy. What's up? Uh, bed, bedtime for you, isn't it, Jack? Uh, you don't need this one, Jack. But ooh, ooh, anyway, Mike. Ooh. High five, <laughs> man. And thank Mike, you. thank you very much for having me on. Uh, I just want to say goodbye to Mike. Quick goodbye. Okay. Oh, always so, welcome. Bye bye. Cheers, guys. Wow. Yeah. See Have you again. Have a good night. Thank you so much. Yeah, you guys Cheers. too. Huh? And we'll see you definitely very soon in, in another okay. live event. And I hope uh, on your channel, why not? It will be cool too. Thank yeah, you yeah, so yeah. Much, cool. Definitely. You take care, bro. See cool, you. Man. You too. You too. Cheers, mate. Cheers, man. Okay. See you. Andy, the ESL guy, that's why I really wanted him to come on because he's uh, coming alive and he's really, really awesome. Uh, good brother. Uh, can't wait to be together once in a while in China. I don't know where it could be. Why not in, in Xi'an or uh, wherever it is would be awesome. And I'd like to thank you, all of you, for uh, being in the live today. We're going to stop here for today. Thank you so much to all of you. Uh, thank you, down Miss Abuela and Alex and so many people like who's been like and of course Teacher Paul for being in here. Swan forty fourteen. Thank you so much. Uh, oh, as well, who's been in live? Really awesome. Ho bear English. Ho bear English. Thank you. Congratulations for your life, for your club. Hope is going to be uh, getting better and better. And I forget all others. Thank you so much for being alive. Uh, I'll see you in another ESL live stream. I don't know when because I'm going to be leaving for the countryside, but why not? I always said I would love to make a live in the countryside over there, but I'll, I'll be there. Uh, I'll be coming back right before July, uh, the August 5th. I'll be back the 4th, so tomorrow the 3rd. I'll be staying there two days, and I guess we'll have another live on Wednesday. Uh, I'm going to try to make more lives than videos because getting ready with the launch of Mike's on ESL online courses, that going to happen very soon. I'm working on it, so there's no video for now. A little bit of break with some videos, but don't worry. They're going to come back very soon uh, at the end of this month. And thank you. You're awesome. ESL power. That was Mike from the ESL live stream. See you soon. Love you guys. Happy teaching. Take care. Bye. Bye. I got to find an outro, huh? Thank you. Bye, guys. Bye.